Hello, this is my video on tuning a mandolin. I'm handheld uh, this no tripod. So this is my mandolin. As you can see, they proudly state it is an Epiphone. Epiphone, which is actually the first guitar that I spent money on uh, was an Epiphone. It's not meant to be uh, when I say when I say it that way, I don't mean um, anything negative at all. In fact, I, it's a compliment. Um, uh, I think Epiphones are made in China. I'm not sure. Um, I think we've gotten to a point in history where um, you can say something is made in China, and um, that does not necessarily mean they're exploiting people and sweatshops and all that like there are that the, the, may be the case but beside the point uh, just look up politics on google <laughs> china is prospering oh look the thing just went off okay um so as far as I, I feel I've I've played this ep uh, this uh, mandolin um, uh, maybe five six times and I'm pretty sure it's out of tune. Um, what you do um, is this is the electronic tuner. You know, uh, so-called real musicians would say don't use this. They have different methods. And uh, again. I'm not bad mouthing real musicians. Real musicians are better than me, obviously. Uh, what I'm saying is time moves on, culture develops, so forth. So right now it's set to chromatic. As you can see, there's a C there. And I can also set it to guitar, banjo, or, no, I think this is bass, violin, ukulele, and back to chromatic. So, um, this was, this, uh, was, I got this from the library, you can see here. Mandolin library, and on the other side, it says, I get one mandolin, one tuner, one pick. In the hard case. And the hard case, as you've probably already noticed, is quite, quite beautiful. I really hope you're watching this video because I know I make a lot of um, not that great videos. I put my heart into every video I make, but I know I know a lot of you think some of my videos are just gonna like personal or whatever and um, so what we want to do with these strings according to the internet um, this is for beginners so for these two strings we want them to be G um, I think we'll figure it out as we go along and obviously so like with the 12 string guitar it would be set up like this or with a maybe a sitar some mandolins, um, the the second string starts part way down the neck. This is a you know beginner's mandolin, beginner, beginner, beginner. You know, and I'm talking like I've you know just done weird stuff like that. Just been strumming it so far and. I don't know any chords. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what note this or that is. Well, like if, okay, so, oh, see here, this is, pluck in here, it doesn't affect that, obviously. Um, but if I were just to pluck there, that's supposed to be G. And, So we can tell it's out of key because those two are supposed to be G. It's basically set up the same as a ukulele, only with double the strings. So let's look at what we're looking at here. So we got our eye on the 
tuner set to chromatic and not ukulele for some reason um, and we want this to be G it's like G D A E I think so and as we can see we want it to be at the middle point not over the edge so um, we pluck this G it says we're too high and then we follow this string up 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 and it's this one so um, depending on how the t string was wrapped you either turn it, turn it left or right and I don't really think there's a way of knowing this so let's go here here we go too high and I'm going to pick the pick down because I'm d one hand is busy with the camera and we're going to adjust basically we need it to be looser so which way is looser that seems tighter that also seems tighter so let's go clockwise clockwise probably means tighter so how are we now Okay, uh, it's sensitive, I don't want to break the strings. Push it a little more. Okay, so here we go. It seems we're going in the right direction, so we're going clockwise. Do -do. And here we go. Now we're under, so I went a little too far. Go up and just a little bit more counterclockwise. So here we go. And that's very close. We're under still, so a little more counterclockwise. Normally I'd be happy with that. <coughs> Excuse me. I smoke cigarettes. And there we go, perfect G. And already, just that sound reminds me of so many psychedelic, you know, 60s, 70s psychedelic bands. But now leaving that alone, um, we pluck the second string. Let's get our eyes on there. So we want the second string counterclockwise. There we go. So now both that's good and that's good. But it's not okay. Maybe not. Okay, so counterclockwise and okay, maybe I'm going in the wrong direction, so clockwise. And sorry, it 
if you're bored by this by now, and I'm sure a lot of you are, um, yeah, we're 10 minutes in. This is minus holding the camera and explaining everything as you go. This is what you have to do. And this is the easy way. So I really don't want to discourage anyone, but if you can't handle this, you probably don't spend money on th these things if you can't handle this. So, um, there we go. Okay, so. And to spare you the boredness, I'll just skip ahead, so. Oh, that's actually in tune. That's a little bit off tune. So G D. That's way off tune. A little bit off tune. Wait a minute here. But it wasn't plucking hard enough. That's a D. That's a perfect D. So D is close to E. So is this so far off tune? Maybe we want it to be a D. Yeah, I think it wants to be a D. So case in point. Okay, so... E, uh, G, G, D, D, A, A, wait, hold on, calm down now, A, A, and then D, G, uh, so, do what you like, but that's basically how you tune a mandolin, and so all the things you saw me do with the first two strings and up here you do with the rest of the strings and i'll end the video there thank you for watching thank you so much um uh this this music really keeps me going um and i got into i'm 32 i started Technically, I started when I was like 8 or 10 playing the piano and the recorder for school, but I really started when I was 30 and, and I quit drinking, so uh, music is very important to me, and playing music, listening to music, um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you, goodbye.